Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. And today, what are we doing? We're doing the five whiskeys to keep. Because Matt Porter called everybody on Whiskey Tube out. He said if you have a Whiskey Tube channel. <laughs> Real specific. You now, should do this. Here's the thing. Sean and I are going to do our own list. So before the intro yep. runs, we're going to flip a coin to see who gets to go first because we I don't share bottles. I one bottle on the table and Dan wants to flip a coin because he wants to. When Sean and I get divorced, who goes first <laughs> in the bottle picking? All right. Wait, which one do you Heads want? Heads or tails? I win. Nailed it. So what we did is Dan won the, the coin flip, so we went back and forth through the like collection yeah. and uh, picked our best five bottle lineup that we would keep out of every, like there's got to be close to a thousand bottles in here now. There's very, very close to a so thousand. So we've, we've put her down to 10 out of a thousand. Yeah. Yep. And well, I did pull one out of the bunker. So out of a thousand and one, we yeah, pulled ten. This is my first pick. Yeah, the wrong one. It was a good pick. It would have been on your list. Yes. But maybe not. It, Sean's first pick it's was like, my second pick. What pick would that have been for you? Uh, probably like three. Okay. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. This one specifically is Michigan only release batch number two. This is one of my favorite bottles of whiskey on the entire planet Earth as mm -hmm. long as I want a barrel proof. These are one of the few whiskeys Sean and I say right now that are worth like the $200 the, yeah, price range. The upper tier price tag. Yeah, the yeah. hyper, I, well, like in bourbon, this becomes a hyper premium market at that yep. point realistically. But yeah, yeah, this is this is my number one pick of whiskeys that I'd have. I only could keep them. But do you get them refilled? You must get them refilled. I mean, I think so, yeah. I can't. Like, that's only, how I took it. Do they have to refill? Yeah. Get five balls for the rest of my life. I bet I'm only well, living. We're done next month. Year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. That's a good month. All right, yours. All right, my first pick, Fourgate Batch 19. Um, that was my second pick. This has been amazing for us. Uh, the first time we opened it, we were in love with it, and it's only gotten better. Mm -hmm. um, I'm truly madly in love with this bottle. It's incredible. Um, Whiskey and, of the year type. Yeah, this will this will that. If we don't drink it all, this will make it to the end of the Might, year. We need to set a certain like an amount aside. Do we know? <laughs> My favorite four gate I've ever had is that one. Yeah. Without a doubt. And then 17 is close behind you. 17 and Eagle Thief for the close seconds. Yeah. Those some those two are in second, third range. This one yep. is like the freaking mile ahead leader of the bunch. The yep. Kelvin so, Four. So we took it as these are the five bottles we drink and they magically refill for the rest of our lives. Yeah. If you didn't watch ADHD Whiskey's version of this video, which he's the one that started this whole thing, he's the reason we're doing this. If you didn't watch ADHD Whiskey's video, go check that out. All right. All right. On the bottle. Bottle. Oh, jeez. God. Dude, God. it's one of the... People don't probably know this. These types of bottles are the bottles that we just drink so not often. Yep. Due to the fact that often we have one, we open it for the review for some content's sake, I'm, and then we have to... I was going to say, for everything on this, it's rarity. Yes. Why. Like, true. We just can't get these bottles. I know. And that's a really good point. As you like and you comment and you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I've there's I've never a, even seen these There's bottles. a, listen, there's a new, there's this new feature, YouTube, it's beta, so some of you get it, some of you won't. It's oh. like a coin flip. But it's this new feature where if you're unsubscribed and you click subscribe, then you get this really cool badge next to your name. Now, the other thing, and it's beta, so you might not, it might not work for you, it probably won't. Uh, but then there's this other thing where if you're already subscribed and you click the like button, you get this cool like, bloop, and it's kind of like, like a water droplet almost in a Mario video game, if you think about it. Also in beta. <laughs> might get it, might not. If you don't, turn your spot, turn your up. So, <laughs> I need you to go to bottle number two. Bottle number two is, didn't put these in order, but I'm going to go with this one. Okay. This is really going to piss people off. Blue Run 14 year. One of my favorite Blue Run releases they ever did. I don't have any 13 and a half. I was going to say, heard really good things about the single thing. barrel of 13 and a half years. It's amazing whiskey. It was like $170 yeah. retail. I know that some people paid $250 for it. it. We didn't, thankfully. Honestly, now I said this. I said that I think these high age statement things would be gone. Said it last year. Said it 100 times this year. Yep. These high age statement things are literally like disappearing and evaporating and they're all freaking gone. Calumet is Calumet. One of the very few that's still going up. Nobody and, else like seems to have. There's no rumor right now of a 17 year yeah. going out. So. And it's so, this is blended so well. It's proofed down just slightly. I love the 113 proof on it. It's mm -hmm. just, whew, it's beautiful. And the bottles go. Listen, if I'm going to look at one of the bottles here, I'm going to stare at this one. All right, so I'm gonna go in a different direction Dude, here. I love this I'm gonna go a little higher on the proof. Little, I'm gonna go a little King of Kentucky. Uh, I've got to put King of Kentucky. I had to steal it before. It has to be on the list. 
Um, this is honestly one of our favorite releases every time we've ever yeah. had. One of our favorite brown. sample, like... Wait, is that... That's our favorite brown foreman, I think. King Kentucky? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right? Very expensive. Yeah. I get that. Very hard to find. Yeah. Hyper limited, but some of the best bourbon, I think, that is still being produced to this day. Yep. Listen, if the list were... What mm. available bottles of whiskey would you keep? It'd be a different list. This oh, is not yeah. that. This, no, is, this just, is the end all be all any bottle. This is Sean and I got no. divorced. We're splitting the hot in half. Man, I made out good. And we go. <laughs> all right, before we continue on in this video, yeah. let's talk today about the sponsor day video. Do it. We got a little original grain action. Not unoriginal, original. Oh, I hate you sometimes. Original grain makes watches, <laughs> rings, sunglasses, whiskey glasses. Yeah, they got a little bit of everything Honestly. for the, the whiskey enthusiast yeah. or the, uh, you know, the bespoke gentleman, be it. But for real, they make really cool, they make whiskey related products. They make uh, tequila related products. They make really beer cool stuff also. out of beer. They make yeah. cool stuff out of like ammo crates. We talked about it before. Recycling stuff. Yeah, uh, for every product bought, they also plant some trees, yeah. which is a, is a good thing for us. Veteran help owned. Out. Veteran owned, not How many, What's your checklist look like? Because I feel like we I just we, hit yeah, five. I hit a lot of them. Yeah. Also, if you don't know, 30% off right now for Father's Day. Yeah. Get your dad something cool this Father's Day. And stuff's moving over Instead there. Instead of golf balls. Oh, and, or whiskey rocks. Yeah. Don't buy whiskey rocks. Is your dad into whiskey? Buy him something cool, like a barrel head watch. You know what I mean? There's And a lot of stuff's moving over there. So like, if you're Ooh. on it, like get on it. The one that we talked about last video that Dan really liked My is favorite unfortunately watch. sold out right yeah. now. It'll it's be restocked, don't worry about it. Yeah. So head on over to originalgrain.com backslash junkies. Yep. Enjoy yourself 30% off site wide. Get your dad something cool for Father's Day. Thank you, Original Grain, for working with the channel as always. always. Thank Seriously, you guys. they make cool stuff for real. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Back to the video. So number, number three. Number three, mm -hmm. I'm gonna switch her over to a rye. Oh. Listen, if a little bit of mentality, a little perspective. If I only have five bottles to keep, yep. I do want an assortment. I did the exact same thing. I want a range, yep. right? Because different. there's five days in a week. If you don't count the weekend, five work days a week. You're still drinking seven though. If, so. <laughs> yeah, but you can switch it up most of those days. Yes. Kentucky Owl, if I had a batch one rye, it would have been batch one. But batch two, I would, I think, it's same so tier. Close, dude. Batch two was Sean's taken. favorite was the two, two. My favorite was the one. Sean and I blinded them, and they were literally. It was damn near a coin flip, like which one was which. It just came down to little personal preferences so on that. They were so good. I can't yeah. knock that that choice at all. Kentucky Owl batch two rye would be actually my only rye on the list, and. I'm gonna be honest, over the Jack Daniels Heritage Rye for me. I actually was surprised by that yeah. because I reached for this first. This would be the other rye in the hut that I would. Parker's Heritage Heavy Char Rye, which when it came out, we drooled over it. We really loved it. It's won a lot of blinds, best yep. of type stuff. Um, this bottle's fantastic. I thought you were gonna go Jack Daniels Rye as soon as I scooped this up because yeah. same reasoning, I want an assortment of what I'm drinking. Sure. If I only have five bottles, I don't want five bourbons. That's yeah. boring. Oh, and no matter how, I like, King Kentucky's great. Mm -hmm. uh, the Four Gates great, yes. but having like just a finished bourbon and then a non-finished bourbon, you're like, all right, cool. It's just it's still bourbon. Or like you throw five cast ranks at it, and you're like, cool, man. I mean, Blown they do up. taste different, but yeah. they all are like, hey, man, we're all kind of just family at this yep. point. You know, this is one of the best ryes I think. Maybe like since like Heritage Vintage Whiskey, that's yep. one of the best New Age ryes ever right okay. now. So. All right, before we go to bottle number four, let us know down in the comments whose list that uh, you, you kind of think yep. did yeah. better. Yeah, mine. Well, yeah. That, that's embarrassing. I won the coin that. flip. I won the comment section. I won that madness. So, bottle number four, Daniel. Four skis. Listen, four is where this list starts to get hard because you start to realize that you only get five. Yeah, and so five these, is where it gets super hard. These bottles start to get like intensely specific because yep. you need them to be what you like round out your list. Yep. Number four for me. This was actually your fifth pick, and this was my fifth pick. This was my fifth pick. Yeah. To round out my list. Mm -hmm. But categorically, we'll do it this way. So, Elmer, mine's not even open, which does feel a little shitty. Yeah. What Elmer 100 is my fourth one. <laughs> but, anyway, uh, this is Dan's yeah. great white Listen, buffalo. Listen, this um, Elmer is my nostalgia whiskey. You guys mm -hmm. don't have to like it. I don't think it's the best whiskey in the world. I don't think it's worth two or three hundred dollars. I do, however, it did was one of the whiskeys that got me into whiskey and bourbon specifically. It's what set the hooks. It to did. It. Yep. And so it's for one of the first things I fell in love with in this category. So when Elmer 100 came out, it was the only, I said, if I could get one allocated bottle for the whole year. I will own that. It's only this one. It was this one, period. Now, the reason this one is sealed is because this is the one that's in my bunker. 
we did have an open Elmer Hunter. We did review it. We did kill the bottle. I literally flipped it and dropped it, broke the cork off of it. Yep. Didn't spill any, but did break the cork off of it. It was and, used to smash a Golden Glen. And it was used to smash a Golden Like, listen, the bottle had a great life. It did. And we have since drank all of it. Great memories. That's why this one's sealed, because we did have one open and drink it. So what I went with was uh, Old Forester 117 series, specifically uh, the 1910 Extra Age. Hmm, more about um, farming. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Same reason you went with that. I went with a lower proof. We did need a low flavor. proof. We needed each of us needed a low proof. Ton of flavor in this little it's gal. So good. Um, it's so it, good. I, I'm glad that in our made up scenario that these bottles refill. Yeah. Because I'm gonna drink a, a lot of five. Yeah. And that's it's a three seven five. Yeah. Zach, um, this is from Zach. Yeah. Was well, the only reason we even have that? Yes. Thank you, Zach. But you appreciate it. Um, this bottle is just amazing. I already love the 1910. The the extra age on there just shines through yeah. and it's just chocolatey and silky and rich. <sighs> Yeah. I love that they kept it low proof. I could drink this every day and be happy with yeah. it. So in our fantastical made up series yes. that they just refills, yes. I'm happy with that. Hot weather whiskey, great, uh -huh. great for that. Anyways, shout out to Zach from Bourbon Kingdom for yeah. getting us this for bottle. Real. Like Dan Seriously. said, we would not have it if it went for you. So thank you, sir. And 1910 is my favorite. Mm. You know? Yeah, we already did our blind. 1910 is our favorite. Warm and cut. All right. This is the final where point. it changes up for both the of finale. us. The um, finale. I actually, I think this is my third pick. I got this one off the table early, but I'm gonna save it for last because it's a, it's a little different than Yeah, both. different category. Um, we talked me, about range. Me and Dan both said that we need a little depth to yes. it. Why don't you introduce yours? I don't know right. mine. Dan went with the wrong one because no, I got the right one. I got Pete Monster Arcania from Compass Box. And I went with uh, a little bit of Arc Octomar. Arctomor? Arctomor? I almost Arctomor. said Arctomor. I almost Arctomor. said Arctomor. 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 <laughs> and uh, so I went with Octomor yep. because uh, it's better. Octomor's great. Yeah. Nobody's arguing. I told Dan, I said, I get all the Octomors in. <laughs> That's, okay. You did say that and I didn't even put it together. I yeah. thought you meant like. You just grabbed it in a bottle. <laughs> no, no, I, no. Well, okay, no, this is the Octomor you get for the rest of your life. You don't get a different it's one. It's a really good one. It is a really good one. Yeah. It's actually the only clear bottle mm -hmm. um, that we have. Okay, I'm gonna be completely It's a little honest. different. If I could only drink peated whiskey and still dominate blinds the way that I do, I would, but I can't. Um, it's gonna be embarrassing when Cam destroys you. I know, I'm talking a lot of shit. Um, Pete Monster Arcania, I like, Compass Box is something that I'm in love with and I don't think every release is great. I don't think every release is worth all the money. I think as a collectible line, Compass Box is doing better than basically everybody else. I agree with that. Um, the labels are always on point. It's literally some yep. of the best labels the in the entire is, whiskey industry. Yeah. Compass Box, I think blending is super impressive, interesting, farm, I think it's just more interesting, right? Yep. They do a really good job. That's their focus. They don't do anything else. They blend and that's what they're good at. That all being said, this is soul healing whiskey. If you're having a rough time in your life, Arcania literally penetrates the in your innards of your soul and in men's. Literally like a stem cell in your heart, dude. I don't know if that's medically no. accurate, but no. like stem cells help your body get better. That's true. This helps your whole soul. So get everything better. that Dan just said, yeah. just imagine he said it for Octomore because that's the real winner oh, dude. here. Listen, range is what it's about. When you can keep five, yep. keep five variations. You need very, very... All of mine are different. I almost said you need variety. Variety. Dude, the only thing I don't... No, so I have a, a straight bourbon. Yes. I've got two finished bourbons. Yep. I've got one rye yep. and one scotch. peated scotch. Yep. So. Yep. I have a finished, a rye, a, an a old age stated. Yep. And then I have the Elmer. Wow, our lists are way closer than I just thought. <laughs> they really are. Uh, that not, being 14 and that being 14. Not actually, intentionally. Yeah. And this is triple finished. Isn't this double finished? That's double finished. Dude, whoa. That's really wild, actually. Anyways, needless to My say. is better. Let us know in the comments. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you thought. Listen, if you get the Mario sound, let us know uh, on the like button. And then uh, we appreciate the hell out of you guys. Check out Instagram or Facebook or Keep whatever. There. But yeah, you know, just watch the YouTube videos. Really. Like, comment, subscribe. It, guys. Proof is in the pour. That's what we normally say. Cheers.